Hello everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to be talking about Emmet. Emmet is a built-in extension to VS Code that allows you to type snippets in HTML and CSS. Emmet lets you write markup much more quickly, so you can get to the programming faster. One shortcut you'll see me use all the time is the exclamation point. The exclamation point is a shortcut for a boilerplate for an HTML document. If you click the arrow over here, you'll see a preview of what this looks like. You'll have the entire doc type, HTML, head, and the body. And if I press enter, you'll see it's highlighting this section over here, the device width. And I can type in over here what I want that to be. When that's good, I can type tab to go to the next section, tab again to get to the title. And I can type what title I want. I can say Emmet Tutorial. Then press tab one more time, and I'll go and right into the body. Now, Typing tags in Emmet is just typing the name of the tag. You press H1, press tab, and you get the full tag of H1. If I type in div, press tab, you get a div tag. Very simple. Now, let's say I want to assign IDs to these elements. I can type h1.title, and that will give me an h1 with the class name of title. If I say dot title without specifying the tag, I'll use the implicit tag, which is div. I can do the same for ID using the pound sign. I can say p top, and that will give me a paragraph with the ID top. If I say first, I'll get a div with the ID first. One more thing, I can say input dot class one. That will add the class one. And I can say dot class two, add a second class. I can add a third class. And then I can add an ID also. So I can say search. If I press enter, I will get an input with three classes and an ID of search. Now you can also specify the content so you don't have to type it after the shortcut. So you can type in h1 learn Emmet inside of curly braces. And then when I type this and press enter, I can get learn Emmet inside of the h1. You can get children within an element by using the greater than sign and then ul, so it's like a nesting ul inside of a div. And if I put an li, you'll also get an li inside of the ul inside of the div, like this. You can also multiply by saying div ul li, and let's say I want nine of these, I can say times nine. Press enter and now I get nine list items. And I can set the content of each one of these if I did div ul li and then said item and then said times five, I would get five uls with the id item. Now let's say I want to number these, I could put a dollar sign inside of there and then if I press the shortcut, I'll get one, two, three, four, and five. The numbering with dollar sign doesn't only work with text, you can do it with class names and IDs as well. So if I wanted to do, if I wanted the list items to have an ID of item and a number, and then have the text item number, I can just say times five, and now it'll have an ID and a text containing this number. And then siblings can be done with div, say first, plus div second. These will be two divs, one after the other. If I did it div and then inside of that h1 plus p plus another p, press enter, I get div with an h1, a p, and another p inside of it. Next I'll show that you can climb up. Let's say I had a div and then I decided to put an h1 and then after that, a UL, inside of that an LI, inside of that an A. And then I want to put a paragraph after this list. If I said plus P, you'll see that the P goes after the A and not after the UL. So instead of pressing plus, I can put a caret up symbol. And then if I press it there, it'll go after the LI. If I want to go up one more level, I can put a second caret symbol, and now this will put the P after the UL. So I was able to climb up two levels in order to put the P within this level. 
Another way I can do this is by instead using a group. A group is very intuitive. If you say div h1 plus, and then I'll make a group, I'll say ul, li, and then a in a group, and then I press plus p, it will do the same thing since the group contains these three elements, and the plus p will put it after this entire group, and it won't have to go up two levels. I'll show one more example of a group. Let's say you had div inside of that header ul li times 2, and then inside of that an a, and then after that I made a plus footer plus, um, inside of that a p. Press enter, and then you'll see there's all of these elements, the header with a ul, and then inside of that two list items, and inside of each list item you have an a, and then after that a footer with a paragraph, you can do that complex structure all with a single shortcut. One more example that will use numbering, you could say div and section dot section dollar sign, and then inside of that h1 dot heading dollar sign, and after that a p times 2, and then multiply it by 5. This whole thing can be multiplied by 5. What this will do is it creates a section with the ID of section 1, section 2, section 3, all the way up to section 5. And inside of that you have a heading, which is also numbered 1 through 5. And then after each heading you have two paragraphs. So they press this shortcut, you'll see there's five sections. And inside of each, each section there's a heading, which is also numbered. And then after each heading you have two paragraphs. Next I'll show you, you can add attributes to tags using square brackets. So you can say p and in square brackets title, that will add a p with an attribute of title. If I said p title equals high, it will automatically fill in high as the title of this paragraph. You can also specify the href a link by saying a href equals https, let's say example.com let's say it's slash dollar sign and then multiply this by five you get five links and they all have the number after the link so I'll show this one more time you have the href specified as this link with a dollar sign representing the number and the multiplying by five will copy this five times filling in the number each time some tags get filled in automatically. For example, if you type an image, you get a source and an alt by default. If I said image title, I'll get an image with a source, alt, and then also a title because I added the title in addition. And also, all these lines can be tabbed through. So you can type the first one, type the second one, type the third one just by pressing tab to go to the next blank. One more neat shortcut is the lorem shortcut. If you type lorem, you'll get some lorem ipsum text. You can also specify how many words. So if I said lorem 10, I'll get 10 words of lorem ipsum. I can use the lorem ipsum in any structure I like. So if I said div, and inside of the div, I'll make a paragraph containing lorem 10. So that's 10 words of lorem ipsum and then I'll do that three times. Now I'll get three paragraphs of 10 words each of lorem ipsum. Next I'll go into CSS shortcuts. Emmet also has many shortcuts to make typing CSS faster. If I said body, inside of this I'll put C, and then press tab, I'll get color, and then this will be highlighted so I can type whatever value I want, so I can type red. So again, that's C, tab, red, it'll get the color red. You can also do this with one shortcut by saying C colon red, press tab, and you'll get color red. I can also say C pound sign, and then a color. If I type zero, it'll automatically fill in the rest of the zeros. And if I type F, it'll fill in all Fs, like this. And if you say like 2A, you'll get a dark gray, 
that has 2a repeating. You can do the same with bg. bg will give you this shortcut. bg0 will give you six zeros. bg colon white will give you a white background. And there's a lot of flexibility with these. You can also say m to do margin. And if you say m10, it will fill in 10 pixels. If you don't want to use pixels, you can specify the unit by saying m10 and then the unit. So m10em will give you margin of 10em. You can specify the direction by saying like mt. mt10 will give you margin top 10 pixels. mr10 gives you margin right 10. ml for margin left. And mb for margin bottom. You can do it with padding as well. p for padding and also PT for padding top and PR, PL, and PB. If you want to do top, you can do T, bottom with B, L for left, and R for right. If you want to use display, you can say DB, display block, DI, display inline, DIB, display inline block, DN, display none, DG, display grid, df, display flex, and if you're making a flex box, you might want to align the items in the center. So you can say AIC, align item center. JCC, justify content center. You can also do AIFS, align items, flex start. JCSB, justify content, space between. And there are many just shortcuts that are just the abbreviations of these terms. You can say W100 for width 100, H100, height 100, TAC, text align center, TAJ, text align justify, and there's much more. On the website docs.emma.io, you'll see that they have a cheat sheet. If you click on this cheat sheet, you'll see that they have many different shortcuts that you can use. So here's for children, multiplication, ID and class names. There's much more which I didn't cover in the video, that you can learn by following this cheat sheet. You have a list of all of the HTML and CSS shortcuts. You can download this cheat sheet as a PDF also to have it on the go. Next week, I plan to make a video on making custom shortcuts in any language, not just HTML and CSS, but to make advanced customizations to VS Code make your programming much faster. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content just like this. Please let me know in the comments what kind of videos you want to see more of. Should I continue making Visual Studio Code tutorials or should I show you how to make some projects? Whatever you're interested in, let me know in the comments and I'll take your suggestions into consideration. Bye!